Hey guys, what's up? It's Turner here from Greater VFX, and I'm bringing you a tutorial for our holiday week, um, and a 4th of July special kind of. Um, I'm going to be showing you all how to make fireworks with trap code particular in After Effects CS5 is what I'm running on right here. And this is what the final product's going to look like. As you can see, I got the red, white, and blue, and then the little sparkle out. So, this isn't too hard of an effect to do. Um, and there is a preset for it, but I don't like the preset because it's too long. So I decided this morning to try and uh, make something similar to it that looked more realistic um, on my own. So let's start off by making a new composition. We will call it Fireworks. All right. So make it as long as you want. Probably a little around five seconds if you were trying to make something much like mine. Um, and then make a new layer solid, make it a black layer, same size as the composition, all right, and then go to effect, um, trap code, and then trap code particular. So the effect that we're trying to make is, uh, one second, basically what we have here are these particles dispersing, but what we want them to do is to kind of, as they grow, we need more um, a little smaller, and then as they grow, kind of stop as they get out towards the edge around here. Um, so to do that, here is what we are going to do. So first off, um, the particles don't keep emitting in a firework when it explodes, so we're going to, actually I want to first make the particle size um, 2, so a little smaller. So, all right. And then we're going to go up here to particles uh, per second, and I'm going to make that 1,000. So now there are a lot more particles. Um, okay, so now that we have that, um, I'm actually going to keyframe the amount of particles per second. And when you click on your layer, you can hit U to pull up all your keyframes, and then U to put it back. And if you keyframe something else, you hit U again, and then they come up. Um, but we set our key there, and about here, I'll say, um, going to put another key, and then move forward one frame, and then set this back down to zero, so that we just have it go like that, so it stops emitting particles right there, right at that. Now, we still have this when we play it through it just keeps growing and it's going kinda of slow so I'm actually gonna make this so at the beginning I'm also going to keyframe the velocity right here and I'm going to set that at 300 and then I'm going to move forward to the same spot where I set um, the particles per second to zero or kept it at a thousand. I'm going to add another keyframe. I'm going to click on here and hit U U again. So now I have velocity here. I'm going to add another key, move forward one frame, and then set the velocity to zero. There. So you'll notice they still keep going outwards, and that is a problem. We don't want them to keep going outwards. So this is the part where I found this was the trickiest part, and it's really not that tricky. I figured it out in a couple seconds. But you're going to want to go down here to Physics and click right there. And then set, click on Air. And then Air Resistance, I think I did something like 2.5. All right, so I'm going to cut this down to about that long. All right. So see? Now we got that. Now what we need to do is we need to give it that shimmery effect there at the end. And After Effects already has a or trap code already has a great preset for this. So if you come on up here to particles and then you go to size over life, um, you're gonna want to expand this slightly. In the bottom part right here um, of all these presets, there is this one, and it kind of goes up and down. Uh, you can see um, if we add that to it, it gives it that little sparkle there at the end. Basically what this um, size over life things mean is that 
um, wherever the red is, the, the higher the red is, the more um, you can see the particle, I guess. So as it goes down and there's more gray, um, it's, you can see through or the opacity goes down. So it gives it that little sparkle. Now, always, um, there's always gravity, and you always see um, the, the things, they, they start to, the particles or the firework um, kind of starts to fall off after it's, it explodes. So right here, I'm just going to add maybe 30 to the gravity. We'll see what that does. So it explodes, and then you see it kind of starts to move downwards, kind of as, as if um, gravity were pulling it to the ground. And now there's still, it, you see there's a lot of explosion going on in there. So um, a normal firework wouldn't spray like that. It would just kind of pop. Um, and so what we can do is we can take these particles per second um, down here by the emitter and click and drag the two keyframes so you have a box around it and then drag that in about halfway and we'll see how that looks. So now it looks kind of like more, we'll do that again just a little further. There. You can always add more particles to that beginning part so if I wanted to set it back, I'd move all, I'd move this key all the way back, and then I'd go up to particles per second, and I could move that up. You can hold Shift um, while you move up to, or while you drag it to make it go a little faster. But you don't want too many particles, or it's not going to look very real. But you see, there's a little pop. And then if you want to do what I did with it, and you want to make the whole red, white, and blue, all you got to do is hit Command D to duplicate the layer, so now you have two, and then you're going to click and drag and offset this top layer by a little bit, so it pops later, and then you want to move the position of it, make sure you have the layer highlighted when you do this, um, move it maybe over here, so that now it's off, the timing's off from this first one, and then let's say you want to change the color, I you go to effect um, color correction, tint, and we will make this red there. So it's a little, it's not a very realistic looking red. So I like to go to stylize glow. It adds a little bit of glow to it, which makes it look a little better. You also want to, um, you can hit command or control C on when you have the glow highlighted, and then go back down here and command V control V so that the white also has a little bit of um, glow to it because it never hurts to add a little bit of glow when you're making particles especially when it's a firework so now we're going to take this layer and duplicate it and then I will take this one move it over here a little offset and then offset the time again and then we will tint this one. We'll go down to tint here. And we'll make this one blue. So there. So now um, you're going to want to turn motion blur on so that, because the motion blur really makes it uh, look a lot better and not as animated. So make sure that when you're doing particle stuff like this that you turn on motion blur because it makes it look a ton better. All right. So. Running through the RAM preview here, and just give it a second. I'll be making a lot more tutorials. Um, it depends. Uh, we don't have a ton of subscribers right now. On my old channel, I had 5,000, but um, as soon as we start to get more subscribers, I'll start start making tutorials because tutorials are um, they're a hassle to make. I guess I, I love making them because I like to show people how to do stuff, and I've learned everything I do. I knew off of tutorials so I'd like to give back and help other people out and I like to see let's just say I see a lot of bad effects done um, on the YouTube community and I'd like to see some creative people who know how to do good effects um, get into some good stuff so that's why I try making advanced tutorials this isn't an advanced tutorial but I haven't seen much like this out there um, 
again, I haven't searched for it, but I just thought it would be a good tutorial for you guys. And I'd like to know what you guys think. Um, so, if you want me to keep making tutorials like this, let me know. Um, I'll do some 3DS Max ones. Um, I just got Avid, or Avid. Not many people have that, but it's a it's a great software. Um, I'll of course do some motion graphic ones. If you've seen my uh, first audio intro template, um, I'll do a tutorial on that as soon as I hit 100 subscribers, or get 100 likes on the video, whichever comes first. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, subscribe to our channel if you like these tutorials, and I will see you all later.